Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today, this Tuesday afternoon, for our webinar with our wonderful partners, um, Money Guide. Just want to let everyone know real quickly before we get started, um, everybody's on mute. We're going to go ahead and record this session, so we'll be sending this out to everybody um, after the webinar wraps. So we have a lot to go over today, so let's go ahead and just kind of get started here. Today, again, is our webinar with our wonderful integration partner, Money Guide, and joining me today is Jenny Gonzalez, Account Manager with InvestNet Money Guide. Jenny, as always, thank you so much for joining us today, and as always, for your continued partnership as well. Thank you, Courtney. Happy to be here. Awesome. So Jay will be back on later during the webinar just to go over all the really cool things and show you some new things that are going to be um, presented today during the webinar on the Money Guide side. So again, we'll start with just a quick demo of Precise FP. Um, I will actually then pass it over to Jenny so she can take over from there. And then we will go ahead and wrap with a Q&A session. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put those right in the GoToWebinar uh, control panel there. And at the end, Jenny and I will go over any questions that you guys may have. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I see some new names there. Um, just wanted to kind of quickly start and say, explain a little bit about what Precise FP is. Um, so Precise FP is actually a, a data gathering platform. We help advisors with really offloading the work of collecting client information. Um, we've actually been around for 15 years now. So we were founded back in 2007. When we first started, we just had one very simple financial questionnaire. Um, so we've really grown over the past 15 years to be this kind of complete data management solution that captures and, and validates and securely stores client data. And we actually integrate with several CRMs and financial planning tools like our friends at Money Guide so that as advisors, you can share client data between applications with a click of a button and really get out of the data entry business altogether. So data entry and, or excuse me, so let me back up here. I just want to quickly show this slide. A lot of times people think that we just actually are about fact finding, which I will say that is a, a big predominant way that we are known for and that we are used amongst firms. So um, really Precise FP has so much more to offer and at one low cost. So everything that I have listed out here is included in the monthly cost of Precise FP. And like I mentioned on the last slide, before we actually um, have what we have now, we only had one questionnaire available and it wasn't even actually able to be customized, truth be told. So we've really evolved over the years with the help from advisors like you all to make Precise FP what it is today and really make the experience for your clients as well as you and your business much more efficient by having all of these kind of important pieces happening in one platform. So data entry and data collection, it does represent 40% of the cost of creating a financial plan. And by using Precise FP, this really is going to eliminate this cost by removing the burden of data gathering from you, the advisor. So with Precise FP, you make it so that your clients are engaged um, by really you can tailor their to their needs to their specific uh, needs on the client level, especially when it comes to high net worth clients. Um, more than likely don't want to fill out, you know, the same generic questionnaire. So with Precise FP, you are able to create a guided experience by, again, tailor making the data gathering experience down to the client level while also doing things like reducing NIGO, not in good order, by adding validated and required fields to your forms. And these are really just some of the many benefits of using the Precise FP platform within your business. So with that, let's go ahead and actually take a closer look at Precise FP. So I'm going to switch over. Um, so what I always like to start off with when I am demoing the platform is um, just kind of quickly stating that basically what Precise FP is, is again, it's a data gathering platform, but you're engaging clients with digital forms. You're really kind of offloading the data entry a little more onto the clients, um, again, with digital forms. 
So we do have a library that is full of content ready to go and ready to be used. Now what's really fantastic with the integration with Money Guide is that we actually have an optimized fact finder for the Money Guide integration, which makes Precise FP really plug and play. You really can come out here and sign up for Precise FP and start using it immediately with clients. So just to kind of walk through a typical scenario, um, what you can do is you can actually easily install this template to your own library, and then you can immediately engage a client or a prospect with it. So it basically sends and creates a link to that form and it emails it to the client. Now, if you don't want it to go out of Precise FP, not a problem. You can actually get the link and send it out of your own email if you prefer to go that route. I wanna do just a quick preview of this form just so you folks can see what this form looks like um, as if it went out to the client. Keep in mind though, folks, that this is 100% customizable. Yes, even the fact finder that is optimized for Money Guide can 100% be customized. Again, tailor making it even down to the individual client level if need be. And you can brand it, you can um, you know, change all this verbiage that's out here. This is just the welcome page that the client sees. A great way to kind of introduce the form um, to the client, maybe give them instructions on how to navigate, let them know that it auto saves, just little things like that that you could put out here on this kind of welcome page but this is what the client sees. So it's um, user-friendly, really. I mean, it's it auto-saves for the client as they go through and they're inputting the, their data. Like I was mentioning too, there's validation to these fields. So take, for example, the email field that we have here. If the client enters in, you know, Courtney.com, it's actually gonna reject that data. It will not allow them to continue in the form until they input a proper email address. So there's things like that throughout the form that ensure that you're getting in good and proper data on this form. Now, here we are, the next page of the form, the family member section, asking for them to input their children information. Maybe you're working with a client by way of conversation, they mentioned they don't have children. Well, prior to actually sending out the form to the client, you could remove this section from the form. Again, really allowing you to tailor make the data gathering experience on an individual client level if need be. And it's very easy to go out here and customize this. I'm switching back to the Precise FP dashboard now, just going into the editor real quick and pulling up that children's section. And I could go out here and I could remove that entire page if I wanted to you're not gonna have any negative impact on the rest of this information, still being able to work with Money Guide, which is the beauty of it. So really, again, allows you to, I'm gonna probably say it numerous times, but really tailor make that data gathering experience down to the individual client level if need be. So you could remove entire pages, you could remove, we call these groups, um, you could remove an entire group if you wanted to, and you could even remove individual fields if you wanted to. So again, not gonna have any negative impact on the rest of the information still working with Money Guide. And if you wanted to maybe you know, change the name of the pages, the groups, change the name of any of these elements if you wanted to, you can absolutely do things like that. Again, not gonna have any negative impact on it still working and going over to Money Guide. So, Again, doing a preview back on the client's point of view here. They're going through, they're filling out all of this information. Maybe they take a break. Since it's web-based, the client just needs an internet connection and a browser. Um, so it's tablet and mobile friendly. They can work in those different environments as they need to. Auto saves, like I mentioned, so they can just close out of it and then come back and click on the link and go back and pick up right where they started. Everything that they input will be saved there for them. And you guys can set up to have fields marked as mandatory if you wanted to as well. Again, going back to the editor here, if I wanted to make this field mandatory, I could do that simply by clicking on it, clicking on edit and marking that mandatory yes. Now that field is marked as mandatory. So back on the form, if my client skips over that, um, it will not allow them to complete the form. Now you can actually even um, go as far as stopping them from moving to the next page if you wanted to. So if you don't want them to be able to progress to the next page without 
you know, making sure that they fill out all the mandatory fields on this field, you have the option to do that. So really making it so that you're getting in that data that you absolutely need um, so the client can't skip over things like that. But once the client actually gets to the end of the form, you'll get an email alert that you know they have completed it. So what happens next is the data from that form moves into what we call a profile for the client. So now this is where you can come into the platform for the client at the individual client level and really go section by section, line by line, and view that information that the client gave to you off of that form. And this will actually update in real time here too. So if you are um, taking a peek at the form in, in, in their account, and taking a look and seeing what they've done so far, you can take a look here. And then once you're done reviewing that, you'll be able to click on export and choose money guide. And all that information that the client input onto that form is gonna electronically go over to money guide for you. It is literally that easy. So it takes everything that the client input onto that form and sends it on over to money guide for you with a click of a button. It really is that simple. Now, going back to the, um, the library here, or excuse me, the, um, let me go back into the form template. I wanted to quickly show you too, some other things that you can do to customize. Now you can customize the emails that accompany this form, such as the, um, the initial email that goes out, you can customize that, it's branded, all of that. Um, you can even set up periodic email reminders that would go out automatically. You can choose the frequency and set up the messaging on that. And then you can also enable a thank you email that goes out after they've completed the form. This is really great. I see a lot of advisors using this. They will customize this and um, especially you know, if you have some next steps that happen after they do the fact finder, this is a great way to just say, you know, maybe, hey client, thank you for completing the form here's what to expect next and maybe put that in the email something like that you could definitely do and this would just happen for you automatically so you've got some automation there so you're not having to draft emails and things like that you can set it up on your form template and that would happen every single time that you engage a client or a prospect with that and then you do have this spot in the dashboard too where you can actually keep track of all of your forms. So if you happen to start sending out a whole bunch and you wanna keep track of them, you have the ability to come out here and see maybe who's still working on the form, um, when's the last time they accessed it, we show you that, we show you how much of the form that they have filled out, things like that. And then we also will show you all forms that have been completed too. So just a nice bird's eye view to keep track of all of your forms that you've sent out to your clients and prospects. Now, with the Money Guide integration, um, what's nice too is if you maybe are doing data gathering with someone in Precise FP and they already exist in Money Guide, well, you do have the ability on export to connect to an existing record over in Money Guide, which is fantastic. So it, it really connects to what you already have. So it makes it so that you're not having duplicate data or, or duplicate entries over in your financial planning software. And not only can you export over to Money Guide, but if you work with like CRM, or, um, Red Tailors or CRM or Salesforce, we, we've got you covered there too. So you could ultimately use one fact finder and have that do a multitude of things for you, such as going over to Money Guide and then populating over into your CRM. Maybe you want to do account opening with TD or Schwab. We've got you covered there because we've got integrations there too. So there's a lot that can be done, but your client on their side, they're just inputting the data into one form. Now going back to the library here, you can kind of get a general sense of the different ways that you can use Precise FP to data gather. You know, fact finding, like I was mentioning, is for sure a predominant way that firms use us. But going back to that, um, that screen that I shared with all the different kind of solutions that are included in one cost, you can see that here in the library. Like we've got risk tolerance that's included. Again, this is included at no additional cost to you. Um, data gathering is our primary focus. You know, risk tolerance is not. So we don't have all the bells and whistles that a risk tolerance provider does have. Um, we're kind of of the motto of less is more. And it's just that, it's 13 questions, scientifically validated. 
they go through, they fill this out, it provides them with a score, provides you with their score, and you can have that conversation around risk with them. And then that actually also works with our IPS, that's also included. This is 100% customizable. If they fill out the fact finder, then you prepare an IPS, all this is gonna pre-fill out with the data that they've already filled out. So the data is able to trickle from one form to another, or multiple forms, making less work for the client. If you're doing kind of multiple solutions um, in Precise FP, multiple data gathering forms for one given client. So this is again, the IPS, you can come out here and pre-fill this out before sending it out to the client. So really all that they would have to do is just open it up, review it, their risk score would populate here automatically. And then something that is also included in the cost is electronic signature. So the client with this, they would stay right in precise FP and sign forms. Um, your IPS, we've got a lot of folks who use this as a service agreement solution. If you want them to sign your fact finder, that's something that you can do as well. So this is um, e-signature is included in the cost. It's actually ours done and managed by Precise FP, again, at no additional cost to you. So the client is staying right in the Precise FP form. They're placing their digital signature. At the end, you get a, um, a certificate of completion with it. We capture the IP address, the date and time the signature was placed. Um, so you get a proper signature attribution with that. So the client does authenticate before they get into the form um, and it, it creates that, that proper signature attribution. So again, service agreement is another way that I've seen folks use us. Um, we have a very basic service agreement that you can certainly use as a starting point and copy and paste your own verbiage in here. So a lot that can be done, folks, is, is basically kind of the message that I'm trying to drive home about what can be done with Precise FP and the data. Um, you know, you can do all these different kind of things, different ways to data gather. Like we've got some folks who do like a, a checklist. Um, this is a pretty popular form that you can also use and customize. So a lot that's out here that is ready to be used and, and can also be customized. Or if you wanted to branch out and build out your own, we don't limit you to the number of templates that you can have. We don't limit you to the number of customizations that you can do either. Um, lead gen is another popular way to use us. A lot of folks will take a very simplified form like this one here or customize it and they put it on their websites, try to get business that way. And then when they fill that out, it automatically creates them as a prospect in Precise FP. And you can really, if, especially what I see advisors do is take advantage of our automatic workflow piece um, called pipelines in Precise FP. So what that does is, you know, it, it really comes in handy, especially if you're starting to use kind of multiple data gathering uh, solutions in Precise FP, is it automates that. So like, let's say, you've got a, a financial consultation form on your website. Somebody fills that out, now they're a prospect. And now maybe after that's filled out, maybe you wanna send out this onboarding questionnaire, you know, get a little bit more information from them. Um, and that could go out automatically. And then maybe when this is filled out, you can see maybe they're gonna be a good fit. Now you send out like your service agreement and they sign that. When that's completed, then maybe your fact finder goes out, your money guide fact finder. And when that's completed, maybe the risk tolerance goes out, just so on and so forth. So all these different kind of steps you can create and build around your process. So our pipeline feature is fully customizable to how you guys work with your clients and prospects. You could even create a stage, which I've seen some advisors do called annual review. And it says when they're in there for a year, engage them again with the Money Guide Pro Fact Finder. And that would happen automatically. You wouldn't have to worry about, you know, these important pieces that you have in your process falling through the cracks. The Precise FP platform would take care of that for you. Now, the integration exporting is not automatic. You do have to click on export for the data to go over to Money Guide. But what I've seen some advisors do is they create a stage because they may have, you know, an admin who is also a user of Precise FP. Um, maybe they'll they'll create a stage that um, says, you know, Money Guide. And in this step, what they'll say is um, 
you know, export over to Money Guide. It doesn't automatically do it, but what happens is when the admin logs in every day, they can actually see where everybody is in their respective pipeline. So if we've got a stage, let me just go to the pipeline and just create one real quick here. I'm gonna edit this one and I'm gonna just call it, just do MGP for Money Guide Pro, save the changes and I'm gonna make the note here, oops, Go back here and just say X. Oops, my goodness, hitting too many keys here. Export to Money Guy Pro. And then what I can do is I can move, let's just pretend that this person automatically actually went in there. So you can you can set up to have clients automatically jump to these stages, or you can manually move them. But when my admin logs in now he or she's actually going to see oh yep i've got one person in this money guy pro stage so that lets me know as the admin that i need to export them over to money guide and then you can even set up um, a trigger to be when they're exported over maybe then that moves them automatically to the next stage so there's a lot that can be done it's really powerful and like i said it's it's really an excellent tool it, it is and it's fully customizable um and it it just really again makes it so that you and your staff no longer have to worry about these important pieces and these steps falling through the cracks it's it's really just a, a another way that precise fp does go kind of well and above data gathering if you will so yeah so that's kind of precise fp um in a nutshell there before i bring jenny on i just wanted to quickly say um for those who are on the line if you are new to precise fp and want to test it out um we are happy to offer you a free 30-day trial versus a seven-day trial so if you go out to precisefp.com click on the sign up button. It'll say it's gonna start you with seven days, go through the activation, get signed up. Once you're activated, you can actually, um, in the dashboard, there's a chat icon. And that's how you can reach us in support. Just send us a message letting us know that you're all signed up, mention this webinar, and we'll actually extend the trial from seven days to 30 days. And that is a fully activated trial. So you have access to all of the features, everything mentioned today um, during the trial period. And then if you do decide it's gonna be a good fit, you would just roll into a paid subscription from there. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna bring Jenny back on the line so that she can show you everything that can be done with that data that comes over from Precise FP into Money Guide. Jenny, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on over to you. Awesome, thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Hi, everyone. Courtney, can you see my screen okay? I can. Awesome. All right. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Jenny Gonzalez. I am with InvestNet Money Guide. Thank you for um, ch sharing some time with Courtney and myself today. I am going to go briefly over Money Guide and sort of our, our ecosystem and how it's evolved over the past few years and some really exciting things that we're happy to start offering here with Money Guide. So as you can see, we have kind of an array of products here. We used to just be Money Guide Pro, but we've expanded our ecosystem and we realized that advisors were wanting some legacy planning and some financial wellness tools. So we've done a really great job of elaborating on our features. So I'm just gonna highlight some of those features today. Um, as Courtney said, with Precise FP, um, we are also happy to give you a trial of Money Guide as well. Um, the integration with Precise FP makes the Money Guide experience so much more enjoyable and also much more efficient. So you can actually launch from Precise FP into Money Guide and it will pre-fill. I'll actually show you that here. Give me one second. It will pre-fill your, um, your client's information, their personal information, all of their assets. So if we come down here to Precise FP, it'll fill all this information in. And as Courtney mentioned, you'd be launching directly from Precise FP and to Money Guide, and it would bring over all this information. So you're going to have 60 to 70% of your plan already done. Money Guide, um, for those of you who are not users of Money Guide or have never seen Money Guide before, Money Guide is a goals-based platform 
So that means that pre-retirement, our solution is really focused on what a client is saving and not what they're spending. We focus on retirement planning in Money Guide, um, and we've used that we're the pioneers of goals-based planning, and we've been around for quite some time. And this right here, which you're looking at, is our goal section. So we break all of our goals down into needs, wants, and wishes. Our goal with Money Guy, no pun intended, is to be very scalable, very efficient for your clients and for you to use. You can engage with your clients in multiple ways. Um, you can present this on a laptop. You can engage in a collaborative way. So there are a lot of different ways to use the software, but each and every one of them is very scalable and there really are no deer in a headlights moments. We want this to be something that your clients can appreciate and understand, and that it's an easy solution for you to use. So on our goals section, we break those down into those needs, wants, and wishes. What does the client want to do, hope to do, and have to do in retirement? Um, we do have some budgeting worksheets to figure out what they're currently using um, or spending their money on. You'll notice it's very easy to maneuver. So if they're used to buying a new car every five years, they could drag that down to the want section, choose a picture and tell us how often they wanna buy a new car and how much they wanna spend and keep it moving. It's very, very easy to enter in the data. Um, a fun fact is that when you have your clients enter in some of these goals, um, clients typically enter seven to nine goals for themselves. They really do like to get involved in this process. An advisor typically adds one to three goals. So the clients really do enjoy getting involved in this process. A couple of the goals that I'll point out um, is college, as you can see here. We do have every college represented in the software from every state. We also average um, have average college costs as well, so public, private, in-state, out-of-state. We have all of that available. We've also got our healthcare costs. So for healthcare, if you give us the client's modified adjusted gross income in retirement, we will calculate their Medicare, Medigap, and out-of-pocket expenses for you. Um, we use an actuarial company called Milliman. They give us these estimates every year. This is a great, great resource and often something that goes overlooked in a financial plan. You can, of course, put your own assumptions in if you'd like to as well. Again, you can put as many or as few goals as you'd like, and it doesn't have to be all fun stuff. It can be mortgages and debts and things like that that they'll have in retirement as well. A couple of other things that I'll focus on in Money Guide is Social Security. So we do have all the Social Security strategies and optimization available. We will calculate spousal benefits, windfall elimination and government offset, um, ex-spouse, widow benefits, all those types of things. But then we're also going to optimize them for you and look at it from a holistic standpoint of how does that impact the plan on a holistic, comprehensive level. So in this case, you'll see here are all the strategies that they're eligible for. We'll show their total lifetime benefit as well as their first year benefit. And then we're going to show how that strategy actually impacts their plan and all of their goals that they have. So in this case, if you're trying to convince them to take Social Security at their FRA, they'd be at 95%. And let's say they say, well, I'd like to take it at 62. Is that possible? You can. It brings them down to 74%. And then we show that break-even point. So where do those percentages come into play? After you've entered your goals and entered in all of their data and information, which is going to be done by Precise FP for the most part, which is super helpful, you'll be able to kind of come up with a recommendation for your client. Um, we do ask for risk. We do integrate with Riskalyze and some other um, risk assessment tools, but not necessary to use with Money Guide, but you certainly can. With Money Guide, we essentially say, hey, on a scale from one to 100, how aggressive does your client think that they are? We know most clients don't have any idea until they actually suffer an investment loss. So if you move this sliding scale around, you'll see those numbers start to change. If I put these folks right in the middle at 50, these guys, given their current portfolio, they would have lost 21% of their assets or $245,000 had we been in the Great Recession back in 2008. We're pretty close to the times we're in right now. Um, this kind of gives them that gut check to say, well, how would you feel if this happened? And then we ask them, how would that make you feel? Would you be so worried that you wouldn't be able to sleep and you'd sell everything? Everything in Money Guide is designed around a conversation. Um, there are also ways to compare what you are uh, managing versus held away assets so that you can compare 
your management style and the portfolios that you would put for them in comparison to their held away assets as a way to get that those assets over to you to manage. From there, um, this is where your percentages and what we like to call your probability of success comes in. We do use Monte Carlo. So we live that client's life a thousand times and come up with a probability of success. I did say at the beginning, there's no deer in a headlights moments. If there were, this would be it. Um, I do think that Monte Carlo is something most people aren't familiar with who aren't in our industry. But what's nice about this is this find out button. If you are sharing this with a client and that's the only way they would see it, we break it down and put it in human terms. What are the, does it mean to be in the green, the blue, and the purple? What does that mean for the client and why does Monte Carlo matter? However, this explore tab is your rabbit hole into all the analytical goodness you could ever want. This is where all your stress tests, your fact finders are going to be. If you wanted to look at the 73rd trial of Monte Carlo, you could. So you'll see your internal Excel spreadsheet. The engineer clients love these. Um, and the analytical folks. Um, we'll calculate their RMDs, their taxes. We're gonna show which assets are funding specific goals. So this is all here. I like to say it's under the hood. So it's under the hood if you need it. Um, you don't have to show this to a client as you're going through. The last thing we wanna be doing is showing something to a client or a family that is overwhelming at that time in the conversation. So it's there if you want it, but you don't have to show it if you don't want to. This page sort of is your landing page as the advisor. This is where you would go to kind of come up with your recommendations for the client. We talked about social security. Um, the what if worksheet here, this is a way for you as the advisor, if you're not using a software, to think of this as your yellow pad. Um, this is a way for you to compare, here's your current scenario, and let's say you wanted to show them annuitizing a pension versus taking a lump sum or downsizing their home, whatever it might be, changing their portfolio. This page is more specific to an advisor. This is what I would use as the advisor to come up with my recommendations. You can name them whatever you want. You can have four right next to each other so that you can really hunker down and compare the scenario so that you can come up with an appropriate recommendation for your client. I'll show you a few more things. Um, we also offer life insurance, long-term care and disability needs analysis as well. So for those, um, we will calculate for long-term care, we'll calculate in-home care, assisted living and nursing home care based on their state. Um, we also will calculate um, the disability and of course, protection. So our protection feature is part of Money Guide Elite. This allows you to look at specific years of um, coverage for life insurance. What does their plan look like with and without insurance and how much insurance is recommended? I think my numbers in this plan are a little wonky, so ignore the numbers, but it'll show their result without insurance, the amount needed, and here's the result without with insurance. The nice part about this is if you're not an insurance shop, we use a company called Cover that will give us an average cost in this case of a 10 year term policy. If you are selling life insurance, you can come in here and put your own strategy or your own policy in if you'd like to do that using their health code. So really great feature of Money Guide Elite, something that has been a really big hit. The other part, which is actually probably one of my favorite sections of Money Guide is the total income analysis. This can be used in one of two ways. This can be used as an annuity or guaranteed income sales tool, or if you're not an annuity shop, you would just ignore this income strategy section and use this as a way to graphically represent the income coming into the plan and where it's coming from. So you'll notice, I'm gonna start kind of from scratch here. This top line will represent um, where, excuse me, here we go. This top line will represent their, um, their goals. This is when they retire. This is when they pass away. And then this is their essential, this is what we need to eat number. That's what this line represents. So now you'll be able to see, you still have your Excel spreadsheet that shows the income, but for a more friendly way and a great way to present the plan and the income in the plan, you'll see their social security, RMDs, post-retirement income, withdrawals, they have a graphical way of looking at the income coming into their plan. And you can stress test that independently within the software. 
just in this section. So you could tank the market. You could look at social security changing. You could look at um, one of them passing away early or longer than anticipated, whatever it might be. So if I tank that market, you're gonna see if there's any kind of shortfall within the, within the income. In this case, there obviously is. If you talk annuities, you could come in here and build in your income strategies. I've got my SPIA and my variable annuity checked. So if I check those and I say, all right, well, here it is with my strategy, it's going to show how that gap in income is being filled by these strategies. Again, you don't have to use this section. This is my favorite tool because of the graphical representation of the income. And again, you still always have this Excel spreadsheet to, to return to. Once you've kind of come up with your plan, um, I obviously haven't shown everything in the software, um, but I'm happy to um, when we do an independent demo. But once you've got all your data entry, you've gone through everything, this tool right here is called the Play Zone. You can use this in the office. You can use this um, through our client portal and give clients access to do this at home with a cup of coffee. This is a sandbox, for instance. This is where your advisors or your clients could go to really kind of come up with their own suggestions. I call this the tool for people afraid to raise their hand in class. To me, this is a tool where maybe you've gotten them to 95%, you're feeling awesome about your suggestions, but Randy and Jess neglected to tell you or were nervous to tell you that they wanted to retire a few years early. The play zone takes the things that they are in control of and says, okay, what would happen if we did this or that? This is also a great substitute for the what if worksheet for the advisor. You can use this to come up with your recommendations and save it as well. Um, again, this is all their goals, their spending, great for contributing, um, uh, recommending, you know, maybe maxing out a 401k for a client who might be still working whatever it might be. So that's gonna be your play zone. The play zone is awesome. Um, clients love this. I've had advisors stop by my booth at conferences and they've had to step out and, and kind of step away and use my laptop to, to use the tool for a bit because it really is that powerful. Um, we have a few other tools that um, I of course will not get into today just to spare you some time. But I do want to talk about, um, so that's kind of money guide from a from a 700,000 foot view, we obviously have reports that you can print. And the biggest question and most common question I get is, can we print a short report? Nobody wants a 300 page paperweight in the back of their backseat of their car. So yes, you can create a five page report if you want to. You could pick, create um, a 10 page or 100 page. It will be white labeled with your logo. So sadly, you guys don't get to be Jenny Gon's advisors with my very creative logo. Um, but you do have the white labeling, light, excuse me, white labeling it will be on the client portal, it will be on all of your reports. And there's a lot of customization available there. We do have a full support team as well. We're here, um, a lot of us are here in Virginia. Um, we are here to answer your questions. Fabulous support team, awesome um, online tools as well and a full learning management system. But with a few minutes I have left, I do wanna focus on something that is a little bit new to Money Guide. Um, we have our My Blocks and our Prospecting Center. My Blocks is designed as a financial wellness tool. Um, we've noticed to that, you know, advisors working with their clients a lot of times are not gaining the business of the client's children or not working in that generational planning. Maybe you're working with pre-retirees, but you want to venture out and, and work with pe people who are sort of in that middle spot where they're not quite ready for full retirement plan, but they're ready to start thinking about how are we going to reach our goals in life and in retirement eventually. You'll notice a lot of similarities to the plan. So you can give this, um, you can put this on your website. This is self-registration. So there is no work involved for you except for putting it on your website and letting the leads flow in. Um, they come into your Money Guide license as a prospect. Um, My Blocks is awesome because it takes bite-sized pieces of plan Planning. And I'm just going to click on a couple of these here. I won't click on these because these are the exact same thing that you saw in the plan. But again, this is designed for someone who is not a client yet, someone who may not be ready for a full plan, but maybe you want to know their goals or you're trying to get their investment assets or you just want to use that play zone. Um, there's also a lot of tools in here that are not within Money Guide because of that goals based philosophy that we have. Like, um, spend versus borrow. Should we spend our money that we have 
or should we take a loan out? I think this one has building a privacy fence or something like that. What is the best, I don't have it in this plan, sorry, um, but what is the best course of action for spend versus borrow? You know, is it going to cost us more in interest if we, if we took out a loan versus what we have in our savings, whatever it might be? Um, we found that obviously looking at kind of the next 10 years of income and debt, what does that look like for a client? So our newest tool in my blocks is what I will end with here. Um, you'll notice that there are a lot of different topics in here. I won't cover all of them. Again, I'm happy to on a, on a separate call. Um, there's a lot of different um, solutions here and our prospecting center actually allows you to have a specific pathway to like uh, one tool. So if you just wanted to have somebody go to the next best dollar, we have a pathway that you can do to, to give people just access to that. So it may not be so overwhelming and you can focus on a specific demographic if you wanted to. This next best dollar is our newest tool. This is an awesome tool, especially to kind of tee up a client for working with you and eventually becoming long-term clients. Next Best Dollar is really looking at the next 10-ish years to determine, are we going to be able to achieve goals and what is the best use of our money? This is going to look at eliminating debt, looking at emergency funds. What kind of emergency fund do they need? Um, in this case, you'll see here that we've got this emergency fund created and it'll take a look and you can create a calculator if you want, but this is going to come up with an estimate and say, here's how much your monthly expenses are based on the information you've given us. After you've entered in the data for your um, emergency fund, we're going to look at how are we going to get that coverage, the amount that we need, the fastest, whether it's three months or one month, how are we gonna get there? And it'll show the different milestones it would take in order to get that emergency fund money. We'll do a similar approach with debt, and I'll show you that here in just a second. I really like this section, the eliminating debt section. I'm just gonna focus on this and then we'll kind of move on here. So for debt, um, obviously again, Money Guide Pro does not focus on debt because we assume pre-retirement that they have debt and they're not saving it. Um, so we don't know what that debt is. But again, if you're working with people who are in that kind of that gray area of, you know, ready to talk saving and getting serious about saving, but they might have some credit card debt. You'll see in the credit card debt block, they're going to ask for their balances. What are they currently paying per month? We'll look at the snowball impact. So lowest balance first and then the highest interest first. The avalanche approach will show when that is going to be paid off. So you can see one's in November, one's in July, and then the total interest paid so that they have a full picture of what their debt analysis looks like. This will also ask about retirement accounts and do they have retirement accounts? What does that look like? And then what we'll do, there is a payment schedule that will show them the monthly payments that they need to be making. And we'll do that from a holistic level as well. So after you've entered in all of the data for the next best dollar, we're also going to show you from a kind of a holistic standpoint, here are your results, here's how you should plan for now, there's your goals, here's your results. And you can move this around, Here's how much you're contributing kind of towards all of the next best dollar. What does that look like? And it will say your next best dollar should go to, towards your emergency fund. And it'll tell you kind of in order how that next best dollar is going to be spent. And then we offer a payment and saving schedule. So this is definitely new for Money Guide, um, something we haven't offered before. Really great tool. Um, if I had more time, I'd talk about our Well Studios tool, which is an add-on product to Money Guide that is legacy planning, covering your trusts, your charitable giving, your ultra high net worth clients, as well as short-term cash flow pre-retirement. Um, again, um, I'm not going to go into all of that. So we will open up for questions now. Uh, my email, I don't have it on the screen, but it is Jenny, it's very easy, J-E-N-N-Y at moneyguide.com. You are more than welcome to reach out to me with any questions or if you are interested in any kind of trial. Um, again, it's Jenny Gonzalez with Money Guide. Thank you so much. Courtney, I will hand it back to you. Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. All right. So we had a few questions come in. Let me share my, oops, there we go. 
All right, so um, one for you, Jenny. Um, somebody asked, is there an index list of all of the my blocks and the specific things each block is trying to answer? Great question. Um, we're actually working on a list of what each one is. Um, each block has information. Once you click on it, it has information about what each one is. Um, I don't have a catalog of them at the moment, but I do have a lot of resources that I can send out that will give you a pretty good idea of what blocks there are and what they do. Very cool. Somebody also asked, is there training and support offered to get set up with Money Guide? Absolutely. Yes. Um, we have training, we have support. We, uh, Depending on how you like to learn, we have a support team, which are folks throughout the country. Um, everyone is typically licensed or an ex-advisor or paraplanner in some sort. So we're here to help. Um, you can call us with any questions. We can help walk through plans. And then we have a full learning management system as well. So there's a lot of handholding if you want it, or we will leave you alone if you do not. <laughs> awesome. All right, here's a precise FP question. If a client has filled out certain date elements in one data elements in one form, can that be pre-filled on a follow-up form, such as name, address, etc., and then be pre-filled to the Money Guy Pro form when they open it? A hundred percent. Yes, absolutely. So that data does trickle down. So when you are going through and filling out one form, maybe like just a simple online onboarding questionnaire, just getting the basics from them. And then you send them the money guide pro form that we have. That data from that first form absolutely trickles down into the next form. So it would go into the, the money guide pro form, makes less work for the client doing that. It, it'll all, um, yeah, pre-fill out into the, into the subsequent forms. All right, um, let's see. Okay, this one is for you, Jenny. Do you have a matrix that shows the different offerings between the different Money Guy Pro tools, such as Pro versus Elite versus Office? Absolutely, yes. I will. I can send that over if you want to um, send me your information. It's Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y, at moneyguide.com. I am happy to send that over to you. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, somebody asked about what the training is like for Precise FP. Um, yeah, so what happens is you can actually just go right out to our website, precisefp.com, get signed up. Like I said, if you're new, you can actually mention this webinar. We'll extend your trial to 30 days for you. Um, a day or two after you sign up, a member from our support team will reach out to you to schedule a coaching session with either myself or a member of my support team. We just kind of go over um, your process, see how Precise FP can fit in places for you, talk about... Uh, you know, implementing the solutions into your practice, and then we'll follow up with you along your trial period. Um, so we'll give you some time to kind of test and play around, then we'll follow up with some additional one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and then you can always reach us in our chat as well. Um, and I saw another question um, asking about pricing of both both platforms, so I'll just kind of uh, continue on there for Precise FP. Our pricing information is found out on our website, um, again, precisefp.com. Click on that uh, pricing link, and you'll see that it starts at $69 per month for one user, and then you can just purchase additional user licenses for that. Jenny, I'll let you speak about the price of Money Guide. Sure thing. Um, we have some awesome promotions going on right now and some bundles, um, but from a kind of generalized standpoint, um, Money Guide Pro starts at $100 a month for one user, and Money Guide Elite is $150 for one user. And those do come with free assistant licenses as well. Awesome. All right. Well, that looks to be the end of our uh, question. So, Jenny, thank you as always for joining us today. It's always such a pleasure to do these with you. Um, oh. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, thank you so much for attending today. Hope everyone has a great afternoon. Everyone stay safe out there and take care.